What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am currently on the wrong side of the road. I've just been out on the bike for a spin. Um, it was nice when I set off. And uh, it started raining. Anyway, um, I'm currently down in Port Isaac. Um, I didn't film the ride down here. I just wanted to little, have a little... Well, I don't film all the rides I go out on because sometimes I just want to be at one with the bike. That sounds a bit weird. But you know what I mean. If you're a motorcyclist, you know what I mean. I don't want to film every ride. Some of it's some of it I want to keep to myself, to my own memory bank and my memories. Um, but yeah, I'm just down in Port Isaac. Um, it's got two two real big two significant. Uh, it means a lot to me. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It, it, Port, I mean, I don't live in Port Isaac. I've got no affinity to Port Isaac apart from. And we'll do it in descending order. So reason number two, I walked the Southwest Coast Path a few years ago. The biggest walk I did with my client that day of, on the whole journey was um, viewed to Port Isaac. It was 33 miles. Now we attempted it once and it turned out to be the hottest day um, on record. And unfortunately, my client was suffering um, heat stroke. So we got as far as um, Tintagel and had to call it a day because we had got through so much water and it was so hot. It was like there was no shade. There was not a single cloud in the sky. And the walk from Butte to Port Isaac is not flat. It is proper um, steep and craggy, and I want to go left. Um, I don't know which way to go. Uh, yeah, it was proper steep and craggy, and um, yeah, I felt bad for my client, but it was like health and safety, you know, be the responsible person, be the responsible. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Anyway, third gear. Ah. Um, yeah, so I pulled her off it because of safety. I didn't want to freaking die on me. And um, so, yeah, very disheartened she was. And I was a bit sad for it, because I was really hoping to get it done. It would have been amazing. However, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'll put the bike there. And we'll talk more about this little adventure. Let's switch the engine off. Because it's now quiet. And the other... Yeah, so... We did. I'll switch you off in a sec. Oh my lord. <laughs> switch off, mate. So. <laughs> Let's have a look at the pirate bike quickly. Take your keys out of the ignition for a change. Sorry, mate. Oh. Yeah, so we did the Southwest Coast Path. Called it a day on, and it, like I say, turned out to be the hottest day on record. I think it's been broke since that day. Um, must to my clients. Um, annoyance, but I think deep down inside she knew it was the safest thing to do and then two weeks later we did it and it rained like it is today <laughs> funny old thing it rained and um, we did it though and it was an amazing experience like I say, 33 miles um, that's the first I'd ever walked in one, one day 
FLC Cheat ever walked as well and um, it, it, it meant a lot to me and the reason why we did well, the reason why we did Port Isaac uh, Butte to Port Isaac was because my little boy is called Isaac and um, yeah and it just I just wanted to do something on that coast path that really really meant something to me personally I mean the whole thing was an experience and a half and um, that I, that day we did the um, we well I had to call the day call it a day and abandon it I um, I was disappointed because it was my boy's name and and yeah and I feel a little bit emotional telling you about this <laughs> but you know this is me I wear my heart on my sleeve and um, yeah so we did it and like I say I wanted to do something personal and something that really meant something to me on a personal level and with my little boy called Isaac obviously there's no town called Isaac um, and so we did that and I've always wanted to do something for my daughter and I've got something a, a big trip planned for this year or it's not even planned I've just got the the embryonic idea of a trip that will start here and end up in a little village what my daughter well, it's not named after my daughter my na daughter's not named after this village but I don't want to say too much because I want it to be a big surprise well not a surprise but I've already spoke to my daughter about it and she loves the idea she said daddy you should do it and I'd really love to do it with her in fact talking about my kids I did when we did the coast path no it wasn't coast path we did um, me and some of my clients we did the three peaks and we raised a lot of money for charity um, in the name of my kids because for the for, um, North Devon Ho uh, Hospital because my daughter was six weeks prem and she spent two weeks in the hospital if it wasn't those for those nurses everyone's everyone I mean, I mean I'm all over the place with what I'm talking about because my brain works like that and if, um, yeah so my my daughter was six weeks prem and everybody's like oh I love the NHS love the NHS the NHS is more than just f COVID I thought yes it's 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 important they're doing important work but there's it, it's more than covid and i wish people would remember that they work their little socks off doctors nurses and all the staff for times when the most important treasure in the world turns up into this world unexpected and michael's fallen on the floor <laughs> so and I, oh god look at the step bike i don't know if this video if you're watching this video guys it's like I'm burying my soul. <laughs> I said burying my soul, not burying assholes. <laughs> um, yeah, so the... Yeah. The NHS, it's like... Like I say, they do amazing work, and it's like when your little bundle of joy turns up unexpected at 4.30 in the morning, six weeks before she was due, when you're shit in your pants as a soon-to-be dad, and they do everything to make sure that your joy doesn't turn into sorrow on that day and it's like so yeah and then my little boy um little Isaac he turned up two weeks early <laughs> where is it with my kids just want to go out and enjoy the world because again we've only got a, little, a limited amount of time on it and uh so yeah me and me and my clients my clients and I we uh we raised I can't nearly ten thousand pounds nearly £10,000 by walking and doing the National Three Peaks, Ben Nevis, Scarpa Pike and Snowdonia and uh, that was an amazing experience and we did it for my kids and not for my kids but because of my kids that was the the inspiration for me to do it and this is why I'm down at Port Isaac and I'm burying my soul to you <laughs> and I've got a filthy motorbike I don't even know what I should do, where I should go, and the Merry Christmas, we're now in February, <laughs> oh wow, this, I'm going to say this vlog, if it ever gets, I, I'm going to publish it, I'm not scared, I'm not scared, if you want to take the f*** out me, crack on mate, crack on if you want to take the Michael, I'm not scared to bear my soul to the tube of you, um, 
because at the end of the day we're all too scared to freaking do anything or say anything these days, aren't we? Without some righteous person trying to put you down. It's like you fall off your motorbike. Oh, it's not the right motorbike for you. It's too fast for you. And I'm not talking about me specifically. I, I, know, I follow somebody on Instagram. And uh, I'll talk about this in a minute. I'll talk about this in a separate video, actually. But... Um, they've been... Had a load of trolls on their Instagram account. Giving them... Hello. <laughs> giving them uh, crap for having a double R. When... Yeah, they don't believe they should have one. And at the end of the day, you have whatever bike you want, guys. Whatever bike floats your boat. At the end of the day, the way I see it, please don't reverse into my bike. The way I see it is, if you don't get a bit of a gooey tummy, a little bit, oh, I'm scared. Oh, there we go. I'm not so scared anymore. If you don't get a smile on your face, by looking at your motorbike, it's the wrong motorbike, you need to find one that makes you smile. Um, and every time I see this bike, it makes me feel like that. It, I get a little... a little smile. Anyway, what I'm going to do, that's the way out of it. I, I really felt like I was going the wrong way on the way, <laughs> on the way in, but yeah, it's not. Um, I'll tell you what guys, make this journey worthwhile and the rain stopped for now so if the rain stop stopped what do you think we should do? no rain we've got a drone we've got a pirate bike and we've got a perfectly flat location to fly from let's do this Right guys, welcome back. I don't know how long this battery's gonna last. I um, didn't bring my external battery charger, my portable battery charger. What's the word I'm looking for? Battery pack, whatever it's called, with me. And um, I've got through this battery and the other one. Um, so, basically, what I wanna do is get out of here, Port Isaac. I flew the drone out in the air and uh, flew it like I just didn't care. Uh, I'll stick the drone footage up now. Um, but yeah, I'm running out of battery, so what I want to do is say goodbye to Port Isaac. Sorry, I got a bit... <laughs> I'm not going to apologise for wearing my heart on my sleeve. It's weird, every time I talk about my kids on camera, it freaking kills me. Um, but you know, these little creatures are important to me. So I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I'm gonna go that way, the opposite way to the way I came in. I'm not gonna run the external camera, not the external camera. I'm not gonna run that camera because that's out of battery. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna say is the usual outro stuff. And that is, mate, do you wanna watch where you're going? Yeah, so, it's suitable for wide vehicles. Well, I'm okay. As long as nothing comes down this hill, we're all good. Um, I don't think people are supposed to come down this way, you know. But, you never know, be, be prepared. Cheers, thank you! That is steepage, isn't it? 60 miles an hour on national speed limit. It's not a 
challenge. Right. So yeah, guys. Oh, <laughs> all emotional roller coaster that was. Of um, just like this, in and out of Port Isaac is a roller coaster. And um, big plans, big trip planned. Well, starting to plan it. Um, it involves a lot of mileage. Thank you very much. A lot of mileage and some ferries and um, a tent <laughs> and a pirate bike. So um, what I am definitely going to do now is head home because it's starting to rain again and um, I need to wash the bike wash this mud off it while it's still wet that's, that's the easiest way to get the mud off a bike guys is wash it off when it's wet in my humble opinion humblage opinionage since that DPD van came down that road I'm, I'm pretty sure people are not supposed to come this way I'm supposed to leave this way I don't know I could be wrong um, but then why would there be a signpost facing that way so obviously I was wrong you know hey ho on we go so guys if you watch this far through this random talking about southwest coast path and a little trip that i've planned um whilst mostly standing still and flying as a drone thank you um it's really important it's, it's really important it's important to me but i like it i i, I appreciate it freaking stum stumbling over my worlds because of the muddage and um, let's have a look in the distance seaside right yeah so if you've watched this far guys thank you very much really appreciate it uh, drop me a comment below if you uh, think I'm a big wuss no don't actually I don't care if you think I'm a wuss I know I'm a wuss <laughs> um, but do give me um, thumbs up it helps with the algorithm, helps get the videos out, the rest of the videos out, that might be better than this one. <laughs> uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my craziness. Oh, nah, right, let's go, let's go to... Um, right, I need to think. Port Isaac, we just come from Port Isaac. Um, I'm going to go that way because, well, why not? Travel left. If I keep the sea, if I keep the sea on the left hand side of me, it means I'm heading up the north coast. So therefore I'm heading home. Good logic. <laughs> and um, if I survive this mud soaked road, um, all will be well. So guys, again, I'm going. Uh, thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't done so hit the ding dong bell oh my god look at the road hit the ding dong bell and um i'm out of here peace these are the kind of roads this bag was built for <laughs>